Hello everyone, I'm Yesar from Cars and Crowns and currently we're at Porsche Indonesia headquarters to have a nice chat with Jason Broom, the managing director of Porsche Indonesia. How are you Jason? I'm very well, thank you, and welcome to Porsche Center Indonesia to uh, discuss the Taycan. Okay, the Taycan is the next best thing coming from Porsche and it's already available in a few markets. Can you share the customer experience so far? We've actually got some really cool feedback from customers. We're really excited that the, the Porsche has bought this electric vehicle and it's coming to Indonesia, obviously. Battery-powered vehicles and Porsche obviously don't go hand in hand. Porsche is known for performance, it's known for its uh, in internal combustion engines. So the media and customers have been full of praise of how much Porsche DNA is actually embedded into this vehicle. Uh, the capabilities for it to outperform the publicized range, it's almost become an online trend. So it's really cool to see how well this vehicle has performed in the real world. Actually, what makes uh, the technology different from the Taycan compared to the other electric cars? So Porsche really went back to the drawing board to look at what's the best way forward for doing an electric vehicle. So there's an 800 volt system against most other competitors all have a 400 volt system. We're the first in the market. The benefits of this are higher performance. It's also reduced charging times and most importantly, lower weight. So in just over five minutes, the car can be charged with a DC charger to a range of 100 kilometers, which is, which is really fast charging. Uh, the second thing is really the, the two-speed gearbox. Very unique in the EV industry. We're the only one that has this at the moment, and it's a distinct advantage when it comes to performance and also range. The all-wheel drive system and recuperation, again, is something that's quite unique. And the driving tests show that almost 90% of the braking is done by the regenerative system. One interesting feature is the hairpin winding technology in the electric motor. Can you share more about it and what are the advantages of it? It's very simple. I mean, hairpins are synonymous with driving uh, experience. So the concept is, is sometimes less is more, but in this case it's not. The more copper that you can put inside the motor, the more power it can generate and the more compact the motor can be. Obviously, you can't have a huge motor inside the car because there'll be nowhere to sit. So we're trying to make the product as compact as possible, but also as powerful as possible. So they've designed a technology which allows you to maximize the space for the copper to generate the most, most, most power. Okay, thank you, Jason, for the brief introduction about the Taycan. You're welcome. Thank you for coming, and I look forward to answering more questions later. Yeah, so uh, what kind of topic we're going to discuss next time? Uh, I think a really cool topic would be to discuss the battery as this is the heart and soul of the vehicle and what brings most concern. So it will be interesting to answer some questions about the battery. The battery, okay. So stay tuned for the next series.